Welcome to Dark Knight Films Reviews and another Hammer Productions Night. Tonight I will be reviewing Maniac, released in 1963. Maniac stars Kerwin Matthews, Nadia Gray, Donald Houston, Lilian Rosset, and George Pastel. Maniac is directed by Michael Carreras. Now this is another one that was written by the amazing, talented Jimmy Sangster. And I can't heap enough praise on this guy. I mean, this, Jesus. I mean, just about everything he wrote for Hammer was great. Um... This one is another one of those, like my last review, which is not one of the gothic horror Hammer films. This is the psychological thriller style film. And it's a lot like Taste of Fear. It is very well done. It's got the intense moments in it. It's got some great um, mystery and everything. You don't know what is going on in this film. And that's great. You meet the character of Kerwin Matthews, Jeff Farrell. And I've always loved uh, Kerwin Matthews as an actor um, playing the roles um, in the films like Sinbad um, and all of those kind of films uh, during during the '60s and everything, and he he's just a really cool leading man. Um, and in this, he's no different. I mean, he is just very cool in the role that he's playing as Jeff here, and uh, you can see how. Um, Nadia Gray's character of Eve would end up uh, worming to him and uh, kind of supposedly falling in love with him. And uh, But he also has the romantic interest of her daughter, Annette, and uh, played by Lillian Brosset. And <laughs> that just shows what a leading man Kerwin Matthews was at the time. This film heaped two gorgeous women on him and had him romancing both of them throughout this film. Mother and daughter. Um, and Nadia, Nadia Gray's uh, Eve, she is just gorgeous, but... She's got that dark side that you just don't know if you trust her. Um, whereas Annette, um, Lillian, she is gorgeous as well. And um, probably more gorgeous than uh, Nadia Gray. But she never played in much after this film. She played it, I think, one more film. Um, one or two more films after this, and then uh, th that was about it. Maybe a few TV things, but that's about it. Which uh, is a shame, because she's quite talented. I really liked her in this film. Um, her character, when she was younger, was attacked by some guy and raped. And her father, George ended up capturing the guy, taking him back to his little garage or whatever, and ended up torturing and killing the guy. And of course, uh, he was taken away and put in a uh, um, mental institution um, after that. He is the... He is supposedly the uh, maniac of the title of the film. Um, 
And then we are introduced to um, Donald Houston's character, which is supposed to be George. Uh, spoiler alert, he is not. He's a character named Henry. He is a lover of Eve, and they are plotting to get rid of Annette. Um, and it's just, uh, I, I didn't really uh, like this storyline as much as uh, I did um, Taste of Fears. Um, but George Pastel comes into this thing as Inspector Etienne, and he was, as usual, I mean, George Pastel was in The Mummy, um, basically playing the secondary villain who was controlling the mummy in that film, and then he returned in The Curse of the Mummy's Tomb, playing a equally cool role in that one. Um... He is a very good actor, um, and I really liked his inspector in this. I really was rooting for him to figure out what the fuck was going on, and and he does. Him and him and uh, Kerwin Matthews, Jeff, finally eventually team to uh, solve what's going on and and unveil the lies that Eve and Henry have been telling to Annette. So, um, this is, like I said, this is different than uh, some of the other uh, gothic horror Hammer films, but if you like Hammer films, I mean, you know their production values are really, they do a good job and everything on their films. The writing is usually always solid. The direction is always really well done. Um, they did this in black and white um, because, you know, they're wanting, they were wanting to take that style of films like Psycho and, and uh, Peeping Tom and everything. And, and, uh, and, and, in some ways, they, they do a really good job on that. And uh, there's a few of these films that are psychological thrillers, and I'll, I'll eventually get to some of them that don't do as well as this one in Taste of Fear. But uh, this one, um, I do not think this one is as good as Taste of Fear was. But uh, it's it's not a bad film. It is... A really good film and uh, my final review for Maniac from 1963 I will give this film an 8.0 out of 10 it is um, a really fun and cool interesting Hammer film and, and it's something different. So if you wanted to see something other than the gothic horror from Hammer, this is the film that you need to see. This one or Taste of Fear. I would suggest either one of those. But have you seen this film? And do you agree with my review? Let me know in the comments down below. And, as usual... Do not forget to smash that like, share, and subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified about future videos. Alright, this is another Hammer Production Night down. Um, hope you will join me tomorrow for another action movie night. Hope to see you then. Thanks for watching.